y'all, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. So today we are going to be conquering three more organizing projects that I've been putting off. So I'm going to one, okay, two of them are kind of the same, but oh well. Um, one of them is my laundry room or laundry closet. One of them is my freezer down here, and the other one is my chest freezer. My freezers need to be cleaned out and I need to go through and throw things away because I know there's things in there that are old and just need to be gotten rid of. So I'm going to do that with you today. Um, I've been putting this off for a really long time, but it desperately needs to happen. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. All right, so this is what my laundry closet looked like to start with. Obviously a total disaster, completely disorganized stuff all over the shelves. So unlike with most of the organizing projects that I seem to tackle, I'm not going to actually take everything out to start with. So I'm, you see I have that big jar, I bought that for my detergent because the jar that I had just didn't work for my purposes, but then I'll discover that it, I discovered that it didn't fit on the shelf, so that's going to have to get addressed later. But I'm going to go through and consolidate things and put things back where they're supposed to go and um, combine containers and things like that to just make this space a lot less cluttered and a lot more organized. It's worth noting that I also keep cleaning supplies in here, not just laundry stuff, so that's why there's some extra baskets and things. So here is a reminder of the before, just kind of how much of a hot mess that was. And here's the after, obviously a lot more organized, a lot better. So now we're moving on to my freezer in the house. I actually did not get to accomplish the deep freeze in this video. Um, I. <laughs> My day just did not, my days that I had allotted for filming did not go how I intended. Now I'm showing you guys four bags of breast milk and that's literally all I have left in my freezer and honestly it probably need to get thrown away but for any of you mamas that have nursed or pumped or both, you know how killer it is to throw away breast milk. So um, I went ahead and put it back in the freezer even though it's probably just needs to get tossed. If I need it for a milk bath, I guess I have it. So I went ahead and put all of the ice packs uh, on the side with the ice cubes that just made the most sense and now I'm spraying it and wiping it out because Lord knows it needs it and the bottom drawer is even worse. But we'll get to that in a minute, don't you worry. So now I'm putting things back in and I went ahead and put most of like my smaller bags of vegetables and my fruit on the top and then you guys will see the rest as we go. See all those peas and corn in the bottom? Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> Now 
And there's the other side with egg noodles and green beans and stuff. So one of the things I actually was doing while I was doing this, and I will also do the same thing when I have the opportunity to do my chest freezer, is I was actually doing a freezer inventory to see what we actually have while I was doing this and taking notes on that so then I could meal plan a lot more effectively. All right, so here's a reminder of the before and how awful it was. And here is the after. It's a lot more organized and I can actually basically see almost everything that's in here. I mean, I know it doesn't look like it, but I promise you it's a lot better than it was before. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, let me know down below some areas that you either need to conquer or that you conquered during this video. I hope it inspired you to get some organizing done. I know that getting the kick in the pants to actually start the projects is definitely my biggest struggle. So hopefully this was enough of a kick in the pants that you needed. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.